So how did I direct this AI model to turn to her left? Over at ClingAI.com, you may recall that we created our own models using their AI virtual try-on system where we created models and then we added AI outfits to the models. Sometimes we make up our own outfits. Sometimes we find shirts or dresses online just to see how it works. Right now we're headed over to AI videos because many of the models were just standing in a single position or walking towards the camera. So we're going to use the motion brush, which is located right here to direct our models. So first let's select one of our photos. Let's start with this model here whose outfit we changed. Now I have found that using the motion brush along with a prompt is the best way to go. I've done it both ways where I've just used the motion brush, I've just used the prompt. The prompt can tell the AI which direction you want the model to go, but you can be more specific with the motion brush, which I'll show you in a moment. So I'm gonna type model moves to the right side of the screen and then looks at the camera. Now going to the motion brush, as you can see the motion brush is analyzing the image which allows you to use automated segments which means it will highlight specific areas. Now you can do it manually with the brush and you can have different sizes and select different parts of the body if you wish, if you wanna be more finite with your movements. But let's stick with the auto segmentation and we'll click here, 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 here. Let's, let's take the hat with us too. It may not matter that much, but I do like to cover my bases. Now, as you can see, it says area one. So we'll click track one and we'll just point this direction. Now, if you want something else to move, click area two. Let's have the horse move the other direction. Track two. And there you go. Select confirm. All right, now we're ready to go. With a combination of prompt and motion brush do we want any other settings? We'll keep creativity in the mid-range. We'll keep it at professional mode, five seconds. We want to generate one version. So we're leaving it totally up to the AI. Camera movement, we'll save that for another video. And then negative prompt. The negative prompt is generally used if you notice that the AI is maybe moving something or does something that you don't like in your video. So you'll take a moment to let the AI know, don't do that anymore. Click generate. And off we go. Well, here's the result and it's more of a camera movement than actually what I requested. The horses are moving in the background, which is cool, but not the direction that I requested. So let's get a little more detailed with the prompt. The model walks to the right side of the screen and then looks at the camera and the brown horse in the front moves to the left side out of the frame. Now there is one button we didn't select and that is a static camera. So let's take a look again. So we want to keep everything we have here. This represents what our prompt says. So let's see if static area helps us out. Can move the increase the size of the brush. Hopefully, this static area is enough of a hint to the AI not to move the background. And let's keep that horse where it is. It's experimentation, let's try it again. 
Well, here we go. Well, it's a little awkward because I told the model to keep looking at the camera or to look at the camera again. And obviously it continued to keep eye contact with the camera. So it's an awkward feel, but it did go the right direction. Of course, the horse really did not. It kind of stepped that way, but didn't get very far. Here's another one that I did, and we should make note that this is for Kling 1.5. It's not available on 1.6 as of yet. I'm sure it will be eventually as they add more features. A person jumps in the air and walks off the camera. Uh, re the camera remains fixed. Here is the path that I drew. So it's a combination of the direction and that prompt. Here's another one that has a couple paths. Still a little awkward in the movement. But you can see the value of this, especially if it's a simple movement. I find that as your movements become more complex, it tends to fail a little bit more. But it is helpful to have good prompting and to make sure that your prompt doesn't conflict with your motion brush. And of course, you can certainly work with the creativity, which will often take things in a totally different direction. However, the consistency may be a little more solid in terms of the final product. Relevance will keep things relevant to the standards you've set, but I often find you'll have more issues like this, which is a little bit awkward and also like our friend kind of floating off to the side. Hey, let me know your experience with the Kling 1.5 motion brush, and I'll see you on the podcast every Monday where we are two creative guys talking AI.